Collaborating on a Word document is pretty simple. You meet your colleague, then you make sure that one of you has a laptop and that's it. Both of you then just sit together and start working. That's all for this video. Bye-bye. I'm just kidding. Let's start over. I'm sure Google Docs is the first thing that comes to mind whenever we think about working together on a document. But did you know that Microsoft also allows you to collaborate on documents with others? And to tell you just that, I'm going to show you how to collaborate on a Microsoft Word document in real time. Hello there, I'm Aman Rashid, you're watching Gadget360 and this is Office Space, our series dedicated to making your life with Office apps much easier. Before we start my friend, please subscribe to our channel and make our lives breezier. And while you are at it, hit that bell icon so that you're notified whenever a new video drops. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing you need to make sure to start collaborating on Microsoft Word is that your document needs to be saved on OneDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud storage service. Note that you get up to 5 GB storage on OneDrive's free tier. That being said, how do you collaborate? Let me show you. So this is my Word document. As you can see, I'm working on this video idea with Shubham and I need him to give his inputs in real time. So the first thing I will do is save this file on OneDrive. For that, I will hit file, then save as, and now I'm going to save this on OneDrive. Note that the process is the same on Microsoft Word for Mac or Windows 10. Now that I've saved my document on the cloud, I can start collaborating with Shubham. To go ahead, I'm going to click share, then I'm going to select specific people. This is because I only need to work with Shubham on this document. You can also choose anyone with the link which gives the edit access to everyone or you can choose to share the link with only the people in your organization or you can just select people who have existing access to your document. Besides, allow editing will let others edit and block download prevents them from downloading the document. Once you're done with all this, you hit apply and next you enter the email address of the recipient. Now, either I can enter Shubham's mail ID and hit send, or I can even copy the link and share it via WhatsApp web, Facebook Messenger, or through any other similar service. So once my file is shared, Shubham will then be able to edit and make changes to my document in real time. Moving on, I will now show you how to collaborate on Microsoft Word Online. Yes, you heard me, Microsoft Word works online, which means you don't even need the app installed on your computer. Let me show you how to do it. On your computer, visit Microsoft Word online and sign into your account. Once you're set, you can start working on a new document by hitting blank document, or you can resume working on an older file saved on OneDrive. So after opening the document, when you're ready to collaborate, you hit the share button and repeat the same steps I told you earlier in the video. You choose whom you want to share this file with, then you make all the other changes and once done, hit send to share this file with your recipient. So this one in my opinion can be a real life saver. Imagine not having your computer around and you need to work on this very, very, very important document. In that case, what do you do? The answer is simple. You just need your phone and an active internet connection. Just follow these steps. Download Microsoft Word on your phone. It is available on both Android and iOS. Once the app is downloaded, open the app and sign in to your account. Up next, you can create a new document by hitting the plus button or you can resume working on some old document. But this old file needs to be saved on OneDrive and besides if you're working on a new file, make sure that you save it on OneDrive. So to select your document on which you want to collaborate, you hit the folder icon, then you tap OneDrive and then you select your file and open it. Once you're ready to collaborate, you hit the share button up top and repeat the same steps that I told you earlier in the video. 
you choose the people apply the changes yada 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 and hit send to share your file and that's how you can collaborate with others on microsoft word note that you can use the same steps to collaborate with others on microsoft excel or powerpoint let me know in the comments if you're going to switch to word for collaborating or do you still prefer google docs also i've made some other office space videos on google docs and microsoft excel 10 on 10 would recommend go check them out and like always hit the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with others thanks for watching and for all things tech log on to gadget360.com see you next tuesday